campus. Straight out to Landon Jacobson with In Session. You were inside the courtroom today listening to the father's testimony, but I understand that his hands were tied, that he couldn't really tell the whole story. What do you know, Lena? Well, you know, this morning, Jane, we had a hearing where the judge ruled Logan McQuarrie, Gabriel's father, could not say anything that might indicate Elizabeth was a bad mom, if you can believe that. He couldn't tell the story about him getting an order of protection for himself and his son, for instance, after she had threatened to do harm to the child previously. There was another time they had a fight. Logan was on his way out the door, and Elizabeth said to him, take that thing with you. That thing, of course, was Gabriel. Uh, those were stories that jury never heard today, Jane. And I find that absolutely outrageous. Marcia Clark, a uh, former prosecutor, famous prosecutor of the O.J. Simpson case, author of Guilt by Degrees. How come the jury can't hear the whole story? If she referred to her precious baby boy as that thing, why can't the jury hear that? Well, Jane, you know, of course, as a prosecutor, I'd always want to get that in to show the kind of attitude the mother has towards the baby, that should show the predisposition of the mother to treat the baby like a thing, to throw it away that way. And the judge, though, know, has to make a call. He has to make a decision as to whether or not uh, a statement is more prejudicial than probative. And in th that means that it's more harmful than it really is necessary to prove anything. The only person that we know of who tells of this story is the father. The father may have an axe to grind. There may be no other evidence to corroborate that she ever said something like this. And if well, it's said in a fit of anger, it might also be something that is unfairly undermining of the defense. I'm trying to give, I'm trying to play devil's advocate yeah. here, Jane, because I'm not in favor of the ruling. I'm just and saying you're that's a prosecutor, so you did, you did a good job there trying to pretend to be a defense attorney. But I got to tell you, uh, <laughs> Yes, the corroborating evidence is that this child is missing and the child disappeared on her watch. 